What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The book, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father, on Amazon, Kindle Create Space. You know, some people need it. If you know somebody that does, get it for them. This video is entitled, you know, People Will Use You Up. Um, let me see. Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to go to the, into the, to the store to get candy, you know, and of course you buy some candy, you have your little money, and you have a friend that didn't have any money, and they'd be like, I got cobs, can I have some? And you know, after a while you get tired of that one friend that always asks, can they have some? But then one, one day, you don't have money, and that friend has money, and then they buy candy. And they said, well, let me get some. Oh, this is my candy. You can't have none of my And then you think to yourself, you're like, for the last 10 days, I've been giving you candy. And now that you got a, a two, three dollars in your pocket, and you bought candy, now it's all yours. Okay. I'm done. I'm done with you because people will use you up. As I got older, you know, you go in class and you're the smart kid and people are, uh, let me, help me with this. Help me, help me, kid, what's this answer? What's the answer to this? What's that? Everybody, you know, always need help. But say if you rain in and they got a, and they got an umbrella, I, uh, I, I just can't fit you in it. Okay. People will use you up. Even as a kid, you know, this, this, this was prevalent, you know, um, you get to high school, you got friends and. You know, your friends may not be the cool kids or whatever that may be. And then um, then they meet the, the people that they say they want to be around and they ditch you. You know, and they might have learned a lot of the things they learned from you as a friend. Now they're around the cool kids doing it. And oh, you're so cool. And you just sitting there like, okay, and you use the person up. Same thing with somebody gets a car. You know, they, they, when they was walking, nobody cared about them. But then they got to call everybody, take me here, take me there. We cool, we cool. I'm like, okay. And I've had those friends, and they wrecked their car, and nobody fuck with them no more. Because people will use you up. You know, people constantly, there are certain people in life. I saw the thing on Tupac uh, with, um, with Sway was talking. He was like, you know. Everybody thought Tupac was going to live because he had been shot before. And because he had been shot before, really people didn't care. Like, oh, he's going to pull through. Like, he's a fucking human being. Like, how you know he's going to pull through? Because he, Well, he's a superman. He is just a man. But that's my point about people being able to use you up. Because when they put you at a certain level of status, nobody cares that they're using you. You know? I hear people talk about God all the time and Jesus all the time. And, you know, pray to this, pray to that. And I might sound sound mean when I say this, but how come everybody always asking God for something? What are you giving to God? Just my, just in my opinion. Like, stop, stop praying and asking for shit every fucking day and do something for God. How about that? Do something like help your fellow man that you, that you are on the earth with at the same time to help. Could you do that? Why are you praying to, for God to do something for you? Because if God sends people in your life to do stuff for you and you just sitting there. But, but like I said, people will use you up. People will use God up. That's why some people's prayers don't get answered. <laughs> like this motherfucker want this want something every fucking day. God, could you give me God? Could you give me God? Could you give me? What are you doing? Well, what you talking about, God? I'm supposed you supposed to provide everything. Well, what are you providing to other people when I provide you with stuff? Well, that's not my responsibility, God. That's for you. <laughs> I know. Um, you know, when we talk, when you talk about quote unquote the gender, what's well, the same thing that cracks me up? People will use you up, you know. Women out here feeling, 
God, because you're a guy, you need to supply me with everything that ever I need and whatever I needed in life, and 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 you just got to keep doing it because I'm a woman. So you just gonna use that guy up, huh? No, 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 just just because because you feel like you you can be able to just and the guys do the same thing. I should get as much pussy. I should get pussy for as many times as I blink in a day because shit because I'm I'm alive, like. All right, so all, that's all she is is a pussy to me. So you just gonna use her up, and people and and now we live in a society where people think you know, oh man, using people is not a bad thing. If it's mutual, no, using people isn't a bad thing. But if you if you misusing people, you're an asshole. You know, people people will will will. Smile in your face, give you a hug, and stab you in the back at the same damn time. And then realize you survived, and then act like, you know, I don't, I, I, look, Jesus said forgive seven times, 700 times. Oh, you said that now that I got a knife. Right. Well, you're going to have to forgive me for stabbing you in your motherfucking chest. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just my opinion, because, People say it's a doggy dog world, and and I hate I hate to hear people like that because at the end of the day, yeah, it's a doggy dog world till them wolves come out. Then all of a sudden, it ain't doggy dog world no more. Then all of a sudden, you got you get you got to call somebody that knows somebody, and you need to get some friends and family and some acquaintances, and you need to get your network together because it's not fair when the wolves come out. But I thought it was a doggy dog world. Yeah, because people will use you up. People will steal from you and act like, oh, you can just get some more. People, people will, will, will rob you of your time just because, you know, they're bored and don't and, and, and have no understanding of what they robbed you of because their boredom got fulfilled. They use you up, you know. Friends will be friends when it's convenient, which doesn't make them friends at all, you know? <laughs> so, and I can say that about family. Family be family when it's convenient, which means they're not family at all, you know? People don't love people when it's inconvenient no more. It might cost you something to care about a person. But when it costs you something, you, you can't be there for them because... Guess what? That means you might feel like you're being used up and you're the user. You're not the usee. You know, at, at the same time, people have expectations of other people. I need you you should always be the one. You know, I I, I need you cuz you make you do this and you do that. Now I need you to do this and I need you to be as consistent as possible. And I, and I gotta point this out. Usually, if you expect something out of people to be consistent for you, you don't ne- you don't never do shit for them. You're very you 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 not even inconsistent with them. You're non-existent. You well, I'm just waiting on you to do it because you know that's what you do. You know, and I, I, you here to make it all happen. I'm I, I'm here to use it all, and then you can make it happen again. And fucking bullshit. Because at the end of the day, like I said, people will use you up. And the problem I have with that is, life is short and people die. I hate to see people at funerals screaming. Ah, man, shut, sit your puss ass down. You didn't give two fucks about that person when they was living. And now that they dead. Ah, I should have been madder than you. I should have. I should have. I should have. Go on yourself if you gave me a second chance. You had all the chances in the world. You had a chance a day when your fucking ass woke up and you didn't take it every goddamn day. And some of y'all, man, why are you feeling like that? If some of y'all think, if some people, somebody watching this say, man, man, that's, that's kind of harsh. And why is he feeling like that? Maybe you feeling some type of way. Maybe you ain't been living. Maybe you're a person that like using people and you don't understand how disrespectful that comes off. Maybe me talking about people using people up bothers you because you're an asshole.
But I mean, that's that's my issue. Like you know, at some point, you know, saying that it's ten minutes into this video, man. <laughs> That's the same thing I, I crack up about relationships when when people are cheaters. Get people to use you up. I, I need you to love me, but I need to I need to be I need to be fucking you over. I just can't live without fucking you over. And now that you're gone, I don't know what to do. Please come back, cause I'm so sorry I fucked you over. Cause when I get back with you, I'm not gonna fuck you over at first. I'm gonna wait a while this time, cause I need to get. I need you. I need to know that you're gonna stay with me. I'm just fucked up. And another thing that I'm about to say real fast is, you know, I say that cause people don't know what other people been through, and people don't know the extent, you know, what other people's breaking point is. So when you're using people, and you use somebody up, and then you turn that person into a monster, and then you go, why they like that? Cause of you, and people like you. You know, you can turn, you could turn a pup into a wolf in no time with your harshness. You know, and don't be mad at what you got. You know, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm, I'm, I just had to put that out there.